will be covering this. We want to make sure they know what we're talking about here. Thank you, sir. Now, the the main thing I wanted to, to cover, and it's it's one that is, um, you know, we we have these meetings. We have private meetings with you and all the the great people that are we're depending on, and I'm very proud of all of you and and what is going. We have that opportunity. You also have the opportunity to consult with us because we have a little closer contact with the people out there who are paying for all this stuff. Yes, and uh, one of the problems that we have is, uh, even in my state of Oklahoma, I'll go back and, uh, and they'll, they'll talk about, all right, we've been there 15 years now, we've been doing this. Yes, sir. Uh, when, why is it worth all of that? The strongest thing that I can say is something I honestly believe in my heart, and that is, if we don't do it over there, it's going to be done in the homeland. You address this in your written statement, um, uh, well, yeah, when you said your predecessor, uh, General Campbell, uh, said if we don't stay engaged here to build the Afghans' capacity to fight this threat, keep the sanctuary down, it's coming back to our homeland. Then you re-emphasized re that in your opening statement. Now, what I'd like to do is I think it's worth uh, getting into the record here as to how this might affect uh, something on our homeland. We understand this. We've got a lot of things in confidential briefings, mm -hmm. but I think it's very important for the for the country to know that. Mm -hmm. Any comments you can make on any specifics? I know that when you had uh, the death of, um, uh, let's see, uh, that they had actually made, uh, had plans for an attack on the mainland. Can you comment on that? Yes, Senator, thank you, and thank you for the opportunity to, to uh, articulate this. Uh, we believe, as we said, that our operations in Afghanistan directly protect the homeland. The, the uh, individual you're referring to is named Farouk al Qatari. Yes, we, he was. We killed, yes, sir. We, we killed him on October the 23rd in eastern Afghanistan in a remote area of Kunar province. Farouk al Qatari was the external operations director for al Qaeda. He was involved in, in plotting against the U.S. homeland. So this is one example, without getting into classified details, of a, of a specific terrorist operating in Afghanistan who was involved in plotting against the U.S. homeland. More importantly, his organization, Al-Qaeda, and its uh, affiliates have been severely attrited and degraded, as you know. And our objective is to destroy them uh, in Afghanistan. Uh, we will continue to keep pressure, but in order to do that, we need to maintain the uh, counterterrorism platform that we have in Afghanistan in an enduring manner. So this is how it directly relates to, uh, to our national security at home. I would also add, Senator, if I may, that from a height of our engagement in Afghanistan uh, over the past 15 years, uh, we, we were over 100,000 troops. We are now down to about 10 percent of that. So as we look at uh, this commitment over time, that surge that we did into Afghanistan enabled us to build the Afghan security forces. And as the chairman mentioned, now it is they who are doing most of the fighting. From the height of our assistance to the Afghan security forces was 10 to 12 billion in those years that we were building. We're now down to about three and a half billion uh, for the Afghan security forces fund uh, with, with, with additional funds to support our troops. So there has been a reduction in the overall cost of this mission. Yeah, and I appreciate that. My time has expired, <clears throat> but it's the it's the homeland uh, connection that we need to be armed with. You've done a very good job. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.